<laughs> Big flex, toes to the top of the shoe. Ooh, let's do it, let's do it. So we're gonna drive here, quick, quick. Good, knees inside, right? Knees inside, don't let them flare out. Static knee pull, I want you to go ahead, passively stretch, pull it through, and then actively hold. Leg is straight, put pressure down on the big toe, right? We're here, locked in, hold position, flex, toes at the top of the shoe, let off, and then we're just stepping. Keep the chest tall, try not to kick the butt in, try not to bend the bottom leg, right? Keep the leg straight, big toe pressure, right? Toes pointed forward, so you wanna focus on the ball of the big toe. All right, push that into the ground as you go to extend the leg. Stand tall, we're not reaching down, we're not pulling too far back. Slight bend in the knee, we're gonna cycle the knees a little bit, so we're here. Cycle, cycle, cycle. Good, drop your butt down, drop your butt down, that's it, that's it, good. Good, don't let the toes flare out, right? We keep the toes inside. Heel toe with the pop, right? So heel toe, drive up, a little bit more dynamic with it, a little bit more dynamic. Big lunge, rotate the upper body. Lunge, drive the hip forward, squeeze the glute, then pull back, rotate and reach, and come back up. Rotate, good, now pull the hip back. There you go, and keep reaching. A single leg RDL, boom, just reach, and then just drop level, boom, stick and hold. This one you can go up, work the anterior chain, might stretch it out, and then come back up. When you come down, I want you to descend down slow and controlled, right? Boom. Good balance. And just reach and drive the hips forward. Squeeze the glute on the backside leg. Good, good pressure into the feet. Keep the rib cage down and then just drive the hips forward and reach up top. All right, let's go. Let's go 90, 90, feet on the wall. Three points of contact on the wall, all right? Be light with your feet, but just touch it. I want you to know that it's on the wall, but I don't want you to put full pressure on the wall. Use your hamstrings to lift the hips off the ground and just hold that position. We're gonna breathe in that position for like five reps. So big, deep inhales. We got five second inhale, five second exhale. A slight pelvic tilt. Let's try to get you out of that interior tilt. Hands down, slide, use the hamstrings. Hold that position. Give me five inhale, five exhale. All right, do that five times. Right, we're going through the diaphragm, right? So make sure you expand the rib cage. Draw that chest down, right? We're not opening up too high. Open up in the lumbar spine. One leg, right? Hold that, flex the toes, keep everything tight on this side. So we're flexing the hip, the ankle, keeping the quads on, right? From there, lift off the ground, hold that position. Flex the ankle, hold that. Take the opposite arm, reach to the big toe. Give me good rotation there. Keep your head down and just use the serratus. Now hold that right there, breathe into it. Hit those obliques, right? Hit those obliques. Other foot on the wall, don't let the hip drop. Switch it up, big reach. Good, head is still down, head is still down. Just reach with the shoulder, the hand. Try not to crunch the toes, so I don't want your foot flexed. I want your toes on the wall. Keep it at a 90 degree angle with the knees. Get off the ground with the knees, so lift up. Now on my go, I want an inhale. And then as you exhale, you're gonna drive your knee to your chest and then open up the posterior chain. Go. Back on the wall. Other side, go. On the wall, other side, go. So we're here holding. Three, two, one, drive, land on two. Quick down, boom, hold for three. Go, help, go, hit it. That's it, good, let's do it again, go. Hold, three, two, one, go. That's it. Hold, go, go. Nice, more power though, more power. Let's get out of here. Go, drop in, boom, hold, three, two, one. Push off, rotate, land on two. Hold, go. The whole thing is don't double clutch, right? We wanna make sure we're going from static to dynamic. Drop, hold, go. Hold, go, push, drop, hold, go, push, go. All right, I'm gonna push off that leg now, push, push and rotate. Drop, hold, go, push. All right, I want you pushing more on the inside of the foot. Drop it on a three count, three, two, one. Rotate, land on two feet. Drop, hold, go, go, push. Let's try to land light, boys, let's try to land light. Instead of being here, right? Back here, load the hip more. Go, come on. Good, don't rotate until you jump. Go, 
Hold it. Go. Come on. Up. Hold. Three, two, one. Then it's a push, push, push. Stick. Go. Push, push, push. Push, push, push. Stick. Good. Let's try to get out there, right? The further we get out, the better. I'm looking for distance and limited ground contact time. I want you to get off the ground fast, but I also want you to produce a lot of force in that little bit of time. Push, push, push. That's it. Push, push, push. That's better. Much better in control than anything, yeah, right? right? Push, push, push. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Give me a little bit more on the first push, and then everything else flows. Big push. Big push. Go. Reach. Reach. Go. Triple with a 90 degree push now. So now you have to maintain your position. So I'm going here. I'm pushing, pushing, pushing. I'm sticking, and then I'm pushing off. Push, 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 stick, hit it. Good, now this is where you're gonna have to adapt. You're getting good power, but we gotta absorb that force. Go, push, 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 boom, now go. There you go, hit it, hit it, hit it, turn, now push, there you go, go. Yeah, good, give me a reach with that push. So you're still here, but I want a big reach, boom. Hit it, push, 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 rotate, punch, there you go. Push, 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 rotate, big push. Push, 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 rotate, punch it. Push, push. That's it, big push, big push, come on. Load the hip, load the hip, load the hip. Good, reach out there, reach out. This is about depth here, get out there. Touch and go, touch and go, touch and go. So I'm using the shoulder saver to manage their range of motion because a lot of these guys, they punch a lot. Their elbows and their shoulders are beat up. So in order for us to get them out of that pain threshold and where we're putting any more damage to the actual shoulder and overstretching them, I'm giving them a range that where they can produce force without pain. We're gonna go from that block position right off the chest. They're gonna isometrically hold in a concentric action because it is off of the chest working through the concentric. Pause at the concentric motion and then blast it all the way through again. We're gonna go alternating, so we're coming down one, then switching. Just hold it because I do want anti-rotation on this one. Grab a block, put it in between your legs so you maintain that hip position. Pelvis is tucked, you're punching, you're punching. Good, bring them down just a little bit. Right there, tucked in, good. So why they are lying on the floor with their feet up in that 90-90 position because now I wanna get them out of that extended position. We're going hook lying. I'm making sure they're tucking their pelvis in and stacking their rib cage so that their ribs aren't flared. And then from there, we're using the floor so that they don't overstretch and try to get too deep into the pressing motion. I really just wanna work the triceps and the end range of their punch. And as we go into alternating, they're gonna to have to maintain stability with their obliques too as well. Same thing applies with the block. So the block is helping them maintain their position of their pelvis they're not shifting with their hips. So it is purely working all the muscles that allow them to press and pull and move efficiently. Hips on the wall, still here, flat, and then we're rowing, right? Don't let the hips leave the wall. Row it first, yep, now change. Yeah. <laughs> Wrist is straight, you're coming down, locking in. Bring your hands in front a little bit. Just curl it from here, keeping the wrist locked and engaged. Don't let that happen. So we're working a little bit of grip strength. And obviously you got the biceps working, bicep brachialis. Shrug, pull. Finish off with some alactic power work. Ski erg, and then we're gonna tie it into core so we can maximize our time. Get your hips square, punch and drag, punch and drag. There you go. Push it, Jake, push it, let's go. So 
it as a wrap. Again, we were on our second week of triphasic isometrics, increase the weight and decrease the time under tension when they go into that pressing motion. And then we did some accessories after that to fix them up. Before that, plow metrics, working our way into single leg, still working from a static to dynamic, working on explosive strength, working on the ability to redirect force. So if you like this style of video, let me know by hitting the like button and also subscribe if you haven't done so if you're new to the channel. Thanks again for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.